It has started up. Um, the people viewing this not really live live stream. I thought I'd give just a little bit of context as to what exactly I am doing and why my streams are private. So I'm just private live streaming content so that it's easier for me to just put content out there, but also because um, it's just more convenient for me to just have a live stream considering how long uh, Star Rail segments are, as well as Arunara segments. So instead of recording like one hour videos and trying to edit them all, I can just... everything just goes post, 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 post. Um, on that note, I will be continuing with the storyline of Honkai Star Rail. Um, I have done a lot of off-camera mining. Uh, a little bit might be a bit of an understatement, but I am level 30. All of my characters are level 30. Uh, their light cones are all level 30. Some of them are max 5 superimposition. Uh, traces are leveled up as much as I can, since I can't ascend. Uh, my, uh, Eldian for, or a, yeah, a, a Edelin for my Trailblazer is at C2, or I guess I should say E2, probably. Uh, still nothing for Dunhan. I did get a E1 Serval and an E1 Welt, which I am very salty about because I want to get a different 5 star character. Um, I don't know what my pity is uh, in, this, uh, in this game. All I know is that I am saving all of my tickets for when 5 star downtown comes out and uh, yeah, what's the additional? What's this oh, I'm currently at 31. So, I'm at 31 I out of the 300 wishes I need to make in order to select a 5 star. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing, trying to do all of this without wailing. So, without further ado, I guess, let's head to Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have to do with a, similar, uh, familiar, a very familiar person. Huh? Do it without becoming a very familiar person, aka you. Oh, that's true. Oh my gosh, did that? When I click <coughs> off of it, does it? It's getting late. Hang on, if I Where click off now? of my stuff, does it actually show my screen? Because that's that's gonna be awkward. Mm -hmm. I see nothing. But... No, I'm talking about, um... Yes, it's in the fruition, huh? Okay. I was gonna panic. Okay, uh... Oh, hello, simple. Sure, I'd like to, I guess, make a purchase or something. <laughs> uh, let's see, what can I get? You get nothing. Oh, okay. You know what? I'll save for that. And again, you know what? I'll just buy like two of these. There we go. We are on the grind for five star Dunhung. I have no clue what his five star name is, so uh, Twitter don't cancel me. So now, I believe in the story, we uh, met Cell, or C, I think it's Cell, and we are currently going into a mine. No, 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 this is Tino, this is Tino. As long as you don't say hot Dan Hung, you should be fine. But Dan Hung is my son, I can't say that anymore. He inherited, he inherited all of, uh... Yeah, cause was yeah, even I though like even... he's our adopted child. Yes, child, I am very delusional. Cancel me for it. 
Twitter would like to know your location. Yep. No, I'm at the point where I... I'm a little bit upset at Hoyos. <laughs> out of all the five star, you're telling me out of all the five star characters, I'm very oh, well, salty. Oh, really I am heavily <laughs> salty. You're telling me, right? Hello, hello. Is out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven standard five star characters, you give me two of this guy. I got several. I or was it so no, 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 that's I, how I, salty. Yeah. That is absolutely I, how salty I am. Oh, geez, I got geppered. Anyway, I did not. Anyways, let's talk to Cell. Hey, you came. That was fast. Uh, what travel? Didn't I tell you? Long story short. The underground used to have many mines. However, in recent years, some sort of corrosion called the fragmentum started to spread. Yo, the chasm. A lot of mines. Why is my sensitivity like that? What the heck? Are you in the chasm? Uh, not the chasm, that's for sure. The <laughs> one we're heading into is Sounds relatively like unaffected. A bunch of vagrants made it their home after their old turf was consumed also, by the fragmentum. Actually, most of them are pretty honest folks. But with such a large group, it's inevitable that troublemakers will find their way in. They've been stealing stuff from the miners and picking fights. And that's not the worst of it. Here, I'll shrink my chibi a little bit because I think it's covering some of the text. <laughs> Things are much more serious this time. For two days now, huge clashes have been breaking out between the miners and the vagrants. It isn't pretty. Mines are our lifelines in the underworld. We have to keep providing Geomero to the overworld in exchange for supplies. In order to quell the situation, Chief Oleg brought wildfire into the mine and left me in charge of security for the towns. But the situation in the mine is critical. I have to back him up. Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll help you. As for you, the chief will decide your fate when we see him. Good. I've been wanting to come face to face with the leader of the underworld. Wait, why is Bronya with us? You're about to come face to face with reality. Right, let's go in. About to enter the great mine. The great mine. Good luck. The great mine. Uh, isn't Monday. that the doctor lady? <laughs> What's Natasha doing here? Things must be worse than I thought. Hi, I'm, Hi, I'm Natasha, an underworld doctor. I'm just being sure. Your Nina is gonna be here Monday. No, what do you mean, Monday? I didn't think you'd be here. Where's Oleg? Hey, Zila and Zila's oh, guests. What? So it looks like you've already met. I haven't seen Oleg. The miners said they saw him take a group further in. Miners and their family members. They won an explanation from the instigators. This area up ahead is a vagrant dwelling, but they've sealed off the entrance. I guess they're afraid that angry miners might try to take revenge. <sighs> I heard that many were injured in the clashes, so I hurried over here to see if I could help. How could the situation here become such a mess? I heard that first mining team found a geomarrow vein with incredible yeah, deposits. Uh... <laughs> the initial estimate put it at the largest discovery in the last 30 years. Are you serious? That's big news! How come I never heard about it? Well, they weren't in a hurry to make it known. Most of the mines have been contaminated by the Fragmentum. Many people are out of work. They were afraid of being overwhelmed if they let the word out. But the vagrants here have keen eyes. They couldn't keep it hidden from them. Some local gangs wanted to profit from the situation, so they blackmailed the mining team for hush money. Oh my God. And that was the final straw. As it happens, that's exactly the law we have down here. But the vagrants have their own custom. See it, share it. And that's how the clash <coughs> started. Now both sides are dealing with heavy losses. 
So, are you guys here to help resolve the conflict? They're here because they need a favor from Chief Oleg. I'm escorting them. And seeing as you need that helping hand, it wouldn't be too much to ask you to lend one here first, I right? Have. Of course we want to help. We care they about other people eating. too, you know. Yes. Huh? Oh, that's quite nice of you. <laughs> I believe we're dealing with kind-hearted people, Zila. As you've all seen, the situation down here is... It looks like either seal or... If you can, we would really appreciate you helping the people. I feel... I feel like I'm out in the sky without the Ido. Huh? Relics. Relics and offer, okay. Equip the relic. What if I don't want to? Switch to hand. Okay. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm gonna give this to you. How do I enhance this? Oh, I need these crystal. Enhance it a little bit. And head. And head. And head. What are you doing? So I guess. The text message. Found some strange items. The taste of happiness. Relics. 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 These are relics. Thanks. Hey guys, I don't know. I, I think these are relics. Are you sure they're not relish? What's a relic? The taste of happiness. Oh gosh. <laughs> the Astral Express family. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, crap, I died. Anyway, uh, how do I even begin today? Let's get there. You don't? Like, I have to go up here. Ah. <laughs> The giant ore vein, the one they discovered. That must be where the clashes are centered. Oh god, I'm on top of the stone. Higher ground and take a look. I'm on the stone. Alright, we will get higher ground. It's all of the stone. Chests, chests. That person up ahead, is he asleep? He's dead. Let's head up and take yeah. a look. He might need help. Could be dead. You pick everything out and probably want to help. Hello, sir, are you alright? No. Oh my gosh, he's sitting with his eyes open. He's my uncle. Falling asleep in a place Oh my like goodness. This. Impressive. Hey, wakey wakey. <coughs> You'll get mushrooms growing on your head! Don't care. <laughs> Mushroom bread? I can't see it on the menu. <gasps> Miss Sila! I must find the boy. You got a death wish Where's or something? the boy? How can you sleep here? I'm looking get for you, to dude. Get and take shelter. Take shelter? I remember now. Ooh. These guys came out of nowhere and got into a fight with the mining team. Yeah. At the time, I was exhausted. I'd hardly run a few because feet when one of them man. caught me. Yep. If it weren't for wildfire, they'd have stolen the clothes wait, wait, off my back. Wait, is this Sea Dog? <coughs> is this Sea Dog? Yeah. 
Is this CW8? It sounds like it. Uh, it's further in. Oh, I guess. Those thugs took control of the village. No, no, that's Black Sepik I've been here eventually. We pull. It's only thanks to wildfire that the great mine hasn't fallen into their hands completely. It seems like Chief Oleg must be up ahead. Hurry up and get back to safety. Look for Nat. And try not to get into another scrap along the way. Okay. Thank you for, um, getting me on my feet. If I get back soon enough, I'll have time for a, for a nap. <gasps> Ooh. I recognize that woman. I found him. That's Elaine from First Mining Team. Quick, let's get up there and see if she's wounded. Hello, Lee. Elaine, trust. are you okay? Are you hurt? <coughs> Zila, thank goodness. I, I'm fine. Just a couple of sprains. <sighs> You've got it's time for fun, fun, fun. Vagrants were asking me about the robots, but I don't know anything. Oh, don't you know? The intersection of the Great Mine has been seized by a band of robots. Neither the mining team nor the vagrants can get anywhere near. The new challengers enter. About time. Human-only conflicts are so boring. Does anyone know where the robots come from? <sighs> At first, we thought that a collective fault had occurred in the excavation machines. But then we found out that those machines didn't even belong to the mining team. They came out of nowhere and pushed the vagrants and us back. I don't really like it when I take flight suddenly. they blocked off the only tunnels into the intersection. <laughs> There's no way anyone in the mining team is behind this. Oh, I know that spot. I love it. It's tiring enough, but a whole group? <laughs> I love randomly <Possibly>. screaming. <coughs> and there's only one possibility. What is that, uh, is it Boss here? Svarog. Svarog? That name sounds familiar. <laughs> You remember the robots we defeated in the boxing gym? You mean the fight club that we're not supposed to talk about? Oh, Boss Barak's robots! What What's his here? deal? Let's just say he's not too so trifled. My soul! My soul! Let's go and find some other people. Elaine, hey. can you make it back to safety? It... No problem. It? It here? Zila and the rest of you, be careful. Robots? Zila. Aligned against humans? I found it. I found three really should hard. obey humans unconditionally. <laughs> That's not the only thing you won't have heard of down here. Obey yes. humans. Give command to us. No, I want to hit oh. the barrel. Is this elevator broken? Why isn't it re responding? <sighs> Why are you worried about this piece of junk? Do you really want to go down there and be a live target for the robots? Who are you calling piece of junk? If we evacuate... <laughs> Then haven't we lost out? <sighs> you idiot. We'll just steal off the miners. Look, I saw with my own eyes. They managed to bag some geomancy. Gave Blatt a year year. Opportunity. Oh, good idea. Shameless. Still after the miners, are you? Time to teach you a lesson. You can't attack them. Pretty good crowd today. One. Turn up the volume. Two. Three. Step aside. <coughs> I have no time now. This song's just for you. Let's rock. Fleeing at the first sign of danger. That's all they're good for. Huh? What's this? Did those guys leave it behind? Whoa! whoa. What the heck? Beep, beep, beep! Searching for potential user. Beep, beep, beep! Voice print detected! Looking up corresponding identity information. Oh my! <coughs> it's an alien! Hey, it talks! And it knows that we aren't from this planet? It doesn't seem to be technology yeah. from here. Look, it even has an International Peace Corporation logo on it. Perhaps it's an antiquity left behind by some past interstellar traveler. Oh my gosh. Beep, 
Beep. Beep. <coughs> your mom's an antiquity. Oh. <coughs> uh, your <coughs> mom joke? Excuse me? I'm sorry? Bro, I think this robot just did a your mom joke. Wait a minute. If it said in, in our mom, generation? Wait, wait, wait. If it's saying your mom's an antiquity, and I'm Dunham's mom, so the robot's insulting me? I guess so. <gasps> Dunhong, are you really gonna let him insult me like that? Beep, beep, beep! Whatever, whatever. So, you aliens know about the Inter-Astral Peace Corporation? Awesome, is that where, is that where you got your beeping sounds from? Beep, beep, beep. No, I've never even played this game before. This game really came out like a... Well, like, how many months ago now? Uh, two? Version 0. 0. 6. A month? Two or three, I don't remember. Two, I think. Anyone to look <laughs> Findy. Just disappeared. Where'd you go? A home use object finder? Uh, the abyss. Who knew the IPC made these kinds of products? Beep, beep, beep. My brainwave beep, scanner module is damaged. Beep, beep, beep. Please send me to an inter-astral peace beep, appliances beep, retail beep, store near you for free repair beep, within the warranty period. Two hundred thirty-two years, eighty-four days. Two hundred thirty-two years and eighty-four days. Beep, beep, beep. Alien, please take me to an inter-astral peace appliances retail place. store to conduct repairs. <laughs> what? This spell is already broken. What should we do? Take it with us? <laughs> My inventory is already maxed out. No beep, beep, beep! Yes, yes, yes! When you need to find something you can't that. see, just call upon Findy! That's me! Alright, let's take a look at this clip. I'm not authorized to use the lift. Uh, it just set up. It just set back down. What's that? Asking for trouble. Am I asking for trouble or? Are you... Clemency, Ready to lose yourself? Never heard of it. Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all. Pretty good crowd today. Keep up! My tempo! Way, 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 Thank you, because that thing made me Step die. Aside. I have no I interest in the times now. It killed my traveler. This song traveler. is for you. Traveler. Turn up the volume. My turn. Oh my this God. is our chance. <laughs> this music right now sounds like it's a sea shanty. Cowards and bullies. I don't remember you guys acting this tough around Svarog's minions. <coughs> Did your parents never teach you what a backbone was? <laughs> we ain't stupid. Why would we risk our lives against the robots? And get off the high road. You can't just find a huge chunk of Geomer and hog it all to yourself. Hurry, hurry, burn him to death. This mine is Frank. our territory. 
The mining team is laboring here day in and day out. You guys don't even pretend like you're here to lend a hand. You're lazy. All right, one All man's you want dead. Is to profit off our sweat and tears. You don't even try hiding it. Where does disgrace come into it when we can't I'm sorry, what are those goofy huh? looking masks? I know your game. You're just waiting for us to starve to death. And I'm sorry, are they wearing your shalkas on their head? I don't think so. I don't know. It's a waste of time trying to reason with you. While you've been kicking up this fuss, the whole vein's been seized by robots. Now we're all in the same boat. <laughs> right, right. We can't rely on the vein anymore. But don't forget which side brought loaded guns to the party. Wait, there's loaded guns in this world? Uh oh. Oh no. It'd be a shame if I brought a sword to to a gunfight. Hey, Orochi. Oh, easy. <laughs> what are you trying to pull off? I'm warning you, wildfire in the area. <laughs> Empty threat. <laughs> wildfire are stuck dealing with Sparog's minions. How are they going to help you now? Unless you're planning on taking a bullet. Hand over the supplies and equipment. We say no. We're getting ready to attack. Those miners are oh, unarmed. Guard. You shameless scoundrels. Where are you finding all these rune guards? I'm going to. We can't let these thugs get away with whatever they like. They have a witness on my troop. Uh -huh. Get out of combat, Sophie King. Sophie. Do you know whose territory this is? Ready to lose yourself? Shut it. This isn't your territory. Oshma, where are you? I can't see you. Hurry. Can you, like, teleport away? Go. Please. Come on. Don't rock with it. My music. Hey, wait, I'm coming, coming, coming. Teleport away. Lemon teleport to a different Never teleport waypoint. Alright, alright, alright. Man, this is Agro. Thank you. Oh, Alright, now it's the characters. We were nearly huh? uh, <laughs> nothing but a few oh, knuckleheads. Do you. So come back or don't. Okay. Right. Tanya, have you seen Chief Oleg? Yes. Oleg? He took a group into the inner Do I come back or not? Said it was to yes. clear off yeah. the invading hey. robots. <laughs> I love Branya's uh outfit. They've been gone for a while now. <laughs> if wildfire was around, those thugs wouldn't have dared. Seems like the core of this problem is Svarog's robots. Your run-of-the-mill robots don't have a will of their own. Their aim is merely Svarog's aim. The boss. He appeared suddenly <coughs> after the guards were redeployed and became a major player in the underworld. Svarog claims to be a guardian of humanity. All the ownerless robots obey his commands. They've occupied oh, the he over place. here. And they're not letting anyone get close. Nobody knows why Tasty. Svarog did any of this. He usually doesn't leave the Furnace Core and interfere unless some kind of disorder breaks out in the underworld. Wait, a guardian I guess of humanity still. that can command robots? I I've never heard of anything like. <laughs> Looks like your mighty architects weren't as all knowing as you thought. Can you two say anything without quarreling? This isn't the time. <coughs> it sounds like there's danger waiting for us in the intersection. Can we still get through? Right. There's unfinished business here. The chief is still down there. It's only a bunch of scrap metal. What are we afraid of? Oh, is Zila starting to appreciate our strength? Hmm? That sounds like an apple thing to say. Hmm. I'll be honest. You guys are hardworking. If everyone from Wildfire were as impressive as you on the battlefield, we wouldn't be so hard pressed by Svarog. Antonia, can you take the mining team back through the entrance to meet up with Natasha? Yeah, sure thing. But uh, be careful. There are a lot of robots up ahead. Good thing I have a ball. I jumped in 69 now. Oh, goodness. I need better stats. Oh, wait, wait, where? Oh, here. What's this one? Oh, okay. Friends. Okay. Wait, Oshima, come with me to a domain. Because I need one more set for Bennett. 
All right. The domain, I presume. Is this the right way? It looks like there's a roadblock up ahead. I'll be the judge of that. Come on, let's take a closer look. Oh no, it's, it's completely blocked by the mine card. They're saying this as if they can't just step Can on these Can we blow it up? On, on these I crates. know. Just, yeah. Easy. I mean, you literally Blocks cannot jump. Mining team. We can't just destroy it. We should try and fix it. Easier said than done. Do you know how? Yeah, of course. Every underworlder worth their salt knows how to fix a mine cart. Let me see. Hmm. Even the pin connecting the body to the chassis is broken. Not to mention the rear wheel set bearing. This looks like the work of Svarog's minions. We need to find spare oh, parts really? we can use nearby. We're wasting time. Beep, beep, beep! Friends, do you need to find something? Find me in the how come you just jumped out on your um, little fella? Two of us over in the same area. Thingy broken? Beep, beep, beep. My brainwave scanner module is indeed broken. However, manual input for search is still operable. Do you think character AI has a done on robot? Come on. Uh, I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it on chat. Oh, yeah. ID can help. Oh, actually, I should check and see if Oh, well, are you, you confident? Huh? Let me give it a try then. Where's the input interface? Ah, found it. And my headphones are doing this weird thing. Minecart pin, minecart wheel set, confirm. Just like that. Beep, beep, beep. Request is being processed. Beep, beep, beep. Max success. Okay, one domain for right beep, now, and then I'll have to item. do something. Minecart pin. Okay. Beep, beep. Search according to the home use object finder safety manual. Alright, R. Let's do this as fast as possible. Alright. I just pray that I get the artifact I want. Beep, beep, beep. Interastral peace appliances. Your most trustworthy companion. Beep, beep, beep. Based on your search history, I recommend the humanoid search history. microwave. <laughs> Press skip to cancel personalized ads. Beep, beep, beep. Findy will create a calendar reminder for when you want to visit an interastral peace appliances store. As stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call in beep beep beep. Find <coughs> and create a calendar reminder for when you want to visit an exactly interastral peace appliances store. Beep beep beep. Potential target object detected. The current search has concluded. Inter Let me see. Uh, yeah, we can make do with this part. This little machine isn't half bad. Beep beep. Beep. What's that? Is that a hint of respect for finding? Oh my gosh, it reminds me of the freaking Mario versus Rabbit, or Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle thing. The little, what's it called? The little bunny robot. The rabbit from Rabbit's Invasion. From Rabbit's Invasion. So next time what Don Hum gets lost, we can uh, just use find him. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Him, right? Beep, beep, beep. Biological life form search is currently not supported. Oh, damn. If you have any questions, please call Interastral Peace Appliances. Well, uh -huh. it was a good idea. Let's look for the next part. Beep, beep, beep. Come on. Let's search for lost item, minecart wheel set. Okay, here we go. Beep, beep. Okay, let's go. Item let's go. Fast. Run, run, please run. Search I don't need to run. Use object finder Get back here. Let's <laughs> call. I did not get it, but that's okay. As stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call in beep, beep, beep. As stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. Beep, beep, beep. 
Potential target object detected. The current search has concluded. That's everything. You were a big help, Findy. Beep, beep, beep. It was nothing. Oh, she wanted to get lost again. Astral Peace Appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Beep, beep, beep. Current search complete. <sighs> Entering sleep mode. Please recharge the home use object finder. We're pretty lucky, huh? Without Findy, it probably would have taken half the day to find these parts. Well, not that long. But that little machine definitely made it a lot easier. All right, let's go back and fix the minecart. Are you going to do it yourself? Why wouldn't I? You've got to be self-reliant down here. Watch, you might learn something. Repair, repair, repair. All right, mission accomplished. Are we going to ride the minecart? <clears throat> Quick work. You know, I didn't think you guys had worked a day in your lives. But you Are you going mining? Dirty. The cart is about to depart. Oh my god, you are going to be riding the cart. Oh, I have to push it. The robot uh, will have It would be cool if you were, if you were to ride it. We should go carefully. That's your weakness. Whoa! Stop! Uh, stop! 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 There's a big evil hunk of metal right there. That model. It's one of Svarog's lapdogs, all right. Don't be afraid. I've dealt with those robots before. Let's all go. Right, I'm gonna head off now. See ya. Move carefully. Well, none of them are weak to Dunhog. This song's just for you. Up. My tempo! You have the worst luck running into me. With me out here, how can we lose? Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! Better up! Rules are made to be broken. Truth of life and death revealed this sanctuary is but a vision. The time is now. Pretty good crowd today. <laughs> I told you I could fight. <sighs> Let's make it quick. is yet to come. Ready to lose yourself? Never heard of it. Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! The best is yet to come. Oh my gosh, sir. Wow, oh, good stuff. Man. Seeing it up close, this vein's even more spectacular. I doubt the underground will ever see it fully excavated.
<laughs> Time for the main event. Turn up the volume. I told you I could fight. Watch this. Let's go. Better up. Everyone is fighting over. Mr. Sparog, it's such a massive vein. I've never seen so much Geomero before. Calculating. Based on the average rate of excavation, this vein is enough to supply Bellabog with 231 days of energy, with a margin of error of 7 days. I sense that your reason for summoning me is not the aura in question. State your true intention, Clara. Right. I wanted Mr. Spark to see that many miners and vagrants have gotten hurt because of the vein. Can you help them? I have already prevented the dispute and taken temporary control of the excavation zone. Evaluation result. In the event of no further variables, there will be no large-scale armed conflict within the next 30 days. I know why you did it, Mr. Sparog. It's just... I don't think it'll be enough. Oh... The mining team in wildfire. Yeah, it's um, it's, it's a fatigue harbinger. <laughs> if only we could do. Yo, it's like one of them. the harbingers, My one of the giant robot men. The trust of the minority sample is redundant to my calculations. Human behavior will always deviate from rational calculation, Clara. As evidenced by their presence here. We haven't settled our final score. Zila, subordinate to wildfire. Your resistance is futile. The result of my calculation is unequivocal. Remaining in the underworld is the optimal strategy for survival. This again. Calculation results, survival strategies. I haven't got time for your thesis. Withdraw your forces, or I'll lose my temper. Observe, Clara. Withdraw your forces. Oh, uh, lose my temper. Humans are unable to avoid division and conflict. But, Mr. Sparog. Human failure to accept the calculation result is a significant threat to the survival strategy. That's a of the big underworld. one right there. Calculation. Why is it jittering so much? Unequivocally. <laughs> Arm suppression of wildfire and their allies is the optimal course of action. I have electricity. Uh, what about the girl in red? That robot is gonna take her away. We must leave, Clara. External variables have triggered a calculation reset. The furnace core hub requires protection. Please, Mills. Don't hit that them too that hard. That machine to the left. I was getting bored of those minions. Or if they're Time facing the group to the Come right, is very jittery. I think because, like, half of these robots are... Why are they so jittery? Oh, Oh no, wait, this freaking reminds me of the freaking bomb. Alright. Alright, let's do this. Don't look up first. Oh, watch the bomb. Move carefully. Oh, gosh, it's a bomb. Not enough damage. Turn up the volume. Go, Sir Ball, go. With me out here, how can we lose? Let's go. We'll try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. <laughs> Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all. Hong, calm down. It's okay, buddy. 
It's wait, does he have eye wait, does the machine have eyebrows? I don't know. <laughs> His eyebrows <laughs> look this phony eyebrows. You have the worst luck running into me. Let's give it to Stay right there while I give you a present. Let's make it quick. Better up. To repent. Uh oh, again. It's but a vision. This song's just for you. <laughs> Now do the final hit, final epic hit, final epic hit. No, not that one. Step aside. I have no interest in still being cunt. Hey, Chris. Good job, myself. Phew. Not bad. How many of these big guys is Sparog hiding? A lot. Which is why Wildfire March 7th, we took get introduced to Genshin Impact. Svarog's forces are too strong. We don't have enough firepower. A free to play open world. <laughs> Clara? Don't worry about her. That girl is best pals with Svarog. She's always following behind him. He wouldn't harm her. I guess I'm just used to seeing them together now, even if I don't understand it. Let's look for the chief. No need to look far. Nice work, Zila. We were attacked on both sides by robots. Who knows where they came from? We thought we were in it for the long haul. <laughs> Chief, is everyone okay? Is anyone injured? We're fine. We're used to it at this point. We sent those pesky robots and ragtag troops packing. The mines should be quiet for a while. And, uh, who are your friends here? Ah, them. They're outsiders that Sample brought down from who knows where. They need a favor from Wildfire, so I brought them with me. It'll be faster if they explain. Yeah, why am I talking for the group? I was just born. <laughs> it's been a while since I heard that anyone was pleased to meet anyone. <laughs> I won't forget you in a hurry. Wildfire welcomes you. So, you went to all this trouble to find Wildfire. What help is it you need? So anyways, uh, we're on a mission to find Stellaron. <laughs> I didn't know you'd put on a show for the Overworld, too. Impressive. <laughs> well, this is new. Wildfire can barely take care of the Underworld. And now outsiders are looking for assistance from us. This... Stellaron you speak of. Ruin Drake, Ruin Drake, never heard of the it. Ruin Drake. But if it's a secret that even we locals don't know about, then one name does come to mind. The current Supreme Guardian is a liar who uses sweet words to deceive the underworld. She's never cared about our survival. Stop right there. I <coughs> won't allow you to insult the Madam Guardian. Miss Overworld. My words may be painful to you, but every one of them is true. Go out into the towns and hear for yourself. See how the people here suffer. <sighs> I haven't gotten close to voicing the extent of the Underworld's grievances, young lady. But I will respect your request. I will leave it at that for now. Let's get back to the main topic. The name that came to my mind was Svarok. Huh? Isn't Svarog Wildfire's sworn enemy? Why would a mere robot in the Underworld have knowledge of important secrets? Sworn enemy. Not how I see it. The young master here is closer. <coughs> Svarog is a cold and unfeeling machine. He recognizes only the dead reasoning of his calculations. Svarog is not against Wildfire. Or perhaps I should say, Wildfire isn't even of concern to him. That ancient robot witnessed the war. If you're looking to pick up a thread, he may well be your best source. Yeah, but we just beat him up. Yeah, 
Yeah, I remember hearing this world was invaded by the Legion hundreds of years ago. Robots don't forget. If Svarog hasn't heard of your Stellaron, then I'm afraid perhaps no one has. In which case, we need to think of a way to convince Svarog to communicate with us. Or get him to hand over his memory bank. Oh, we could go awful. through it ourselves. <sighs> what should we do? We've tried repeatedly to negotiate with Svarog, but he rejects every effort. He believes that wildfire is a threat. Still, if it were you guys, <clears throat> it's difficult to say. We have time. Let's get into the detail tomorrow. It's late, and you must have been through a lot. Go back to the town and rest. So I'll make arrangements. Again? I'm starting to get Average nervous day. of arranged rest First on this time. planet. As for our silver main girl here, do you have time? I'd like to talk with you in private. Yeah, apart from like the weird leggings that Rania has, I love like the way her skirt is designed. It's like an open skirt. But it's like from the back it looks like a really elegant skirt and you get to the front and the front it's like, oh my gosh, it's functional. Okay, uh we have to go to a that would not be a good thing to do right off the bat. Yo, it's a big buff man. Murder it. Should I murder it? Murder it. Alright, let me get healed up first. He bad it. He bad it. Oh, anyway, I think Servo. Are you weak again? Huh. I think all the robots are weak. Really? Really? are made to be broken. To lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all. With me out here, how can we lose? Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. Let's go. Clemency? Never heard of it. <laughs> Watch this! Let's make it quick. Take this! Step aside. I have again. no interest in you. Keep up. My tempo. I told you I could fight. Stay right there while I give you a present. The truth of life and death revealed this sanctuary is but a vision. I think even the machines have a preference. They definitely don't choose March 7th. Try that again! Ironically enough, I would have thought they would be targeting Sir Ball. Time now. This song's just for you. Turn up the volume! 
You have the worst luck running Ready into me. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music conquer us all. <sighs> Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. <sighs> There's inspiration in every glance and every breeze. Oh, you must be Oleg's guests. <coughs> Welcome to the Gerda Grand Hotel. Uh, hey, that's not very polite. <laughs> it's fine. <coughs> you aren't the first guest to have that reaction. A few hundred years ago, one ancestor of the Gerda family was ambitious and sought to build something big from nothing. Eventually, like insult, he actually though, did like it. Asking like, oh, this is a grand, like, uh, oh, a grand hotel. Like, uh, with curiosity more so than an insult. Have you seen that stylish Goethe Hotel? Strictly speaking, it's a branch of this grand hotel. Oh, people with big dreams have big determination. Oleg wants me to take good care of y'all. Here's the key. You'll be staying in our most spacious guest room. Oh, no, we have to bunk up. What do you think? Should we go ahead and call it a day? Or walk around a bit more first? I'm tired. Let's go to sleep. <sighs> time to rest again. I hope there aren't any surprises this time. That Oleg, he seems sincere. <gasps> what do you guys we think? We all develop trust issues. <laughs> <sighs> oh no. Don't you have something cool to say? Like, appearances can be deceiving? I don't try to disagree. But if you ask for my opinion, it's better to be safe than sorry. He has a point, though. Oh, last fine. time we slept. We'll keep our guards up. Our last hotel experience was eventful, to say the least. One of us should keep watch tonight. Uh, keep watch? Are we space cowboys now? I guess this is the Cosmic Wild West. <laughs> oh, anyone else sleepy? Uh, leave it to me. I'll do it. I'm in You seem headache. pretty exhausted. Don't overexert yourself. I'll do it. Nah, man, I have insomnia. I'll be fine. I'll keep watch. But again. Branya, did you finish talking to Oleg? Hope he didn't make things difficult for you. Not really. Though it wasn't the friendliest conversation. We didn't see eye to eye on everything. I've come to know a great deal in a short time. I doubt I'll be able to fall asleep tonight. I doubt I'll be able to sleep either. Not that I don't trust you. It's just, you're a silver main guard officer in the underground. There might be people looking to harm you. I wouldn't be surprised if there are. The Silvermane guards have a lot to make amends for down here. If someone had made a stand in the outset and explained the consequences to Madame Kokolia, oh, forget it. It's meaningless to talk about it now. You don't need to worry about me. Oleg guaranteed that I wouldn't be harmed. He seemed like a man of his word. Go and rest. I'll still be up all night. I haven't saw him yet. Why is there a Kazuo trying to join my world? There's a Kazuo with the name of A. Oh my gosh. Please give me a five star review. Please give me a five star. I'm very sorry. I'm gonna be very satisfied. 
<laughs> You'd love to bring Dung Hung here to sample this tea solely because you are convinced that he is someone who knows a lot about tea. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, uh, that's Kazuo's fault. He said, he, Kazuo said that uh, Dun Hung needs to know about tea. <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm very happy because we're not gonna we're not uh Heisenberg <laughs> from from uh <laughs> from, Resident, from Resident Evil 8 Village No, I'm going to be honest, because also, too, I'm not going to- If this is their best room they have, who am I to judge them? We we just re- We know that they're going through some really bad times, and have been, so I'm not going to- I'm not going to choo- Bet your mind- The- The- I'm, What's it called? The beggars can't be choosers. I'm done. I'll do that in the morning. But can I go into this closet? Let me go into the closet and have a delusion. Alright, let's, I guess, rest. I don't see any other sparklies. Oh, cutscene. I lost her. My wish. Your so called plan. What is the point of it all? Five star. Silence! She is my daughter. My only. You soulless thing. How could you begin to fathom? You will never understand. Never! Is restless and that voice again. Such a strange dream. Oh my god, he has a voice. I will go for a walk if I can't sleep. Ah, insomniac. I have insomnia. I have raging insomnia in video games too. Who goes there? Show yourself. I'm not Elsa. Oh, it's you. Don't sneak up behind me next time. Lucky for you, I wasn't armed. Wait, did my thing? Oh no. Did it just reveal my entire screensaver? <laughs> oh my god. I have. <laughs> no sleep for you either, huh? Yeah, I'm having some weird delusions of that insomnia. Mm, I understand. <laughs> The more that weighs on your mind, the more your fears become dreamscapes. Actually, seeing as there's no one around, it, can I ask you some things? Sure. This Stellaron you speak of, if you were to find it, how sure are you that you could stop the Eternal Freeze? 100%. I am a Stellaron. Your confidence actually makes me even more worried. This isn't like helping a child make a snowball. You know, it was difficult for me to believe you. Some of the words you use are too alien for those that have lived their entire life in Bellabog. As far as I was concerned, Madame Kakolia's order to arrest you sounded reasonable. 
but why didn't she issue it straight away? Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm looking at the record. I'm looking back at the recording, and apparently, <coughs> when I switched, uh, when I switched tabs, because I have one tab open for my live stream, and then one tab open for a different program, and I was switching between them. Uh, I'm gonna have to like go back into my editing and edit that out. Not really edit that out, but I have to like clean it up because I nothing bad about it. I just don't like that it got revealed like that. She must have realized something about you. Something I haven't yet been able to perceive for myself. It bothers me. What must have transpired to cause her such a drastic change? Ah, still, orders are orders. It's not for soldiers to question their superiors. You had no choice, so like, I don't blame you. I don't need you to absolve me. The truth is, I didn't have every confidence that I was doing the right thing. But the sense of duty to carry out an order is bound to prevail with me. In the past, overworld soldiers on the front line would lose their lives <coughs> in droves. And yet... The Fragmentum's advance would remain unaffected. Nevertheless, that was her reason for deploying all the Silvermane guards to the front line. The transport line for supplies in Geomarrow remained open. But the passage between the surface and the underground ceased. Huh. I approved of that decision. I never thought that the Underworld would sink into such ruin without the Silvermane guards. Perhaps Mother was wrong. But how can I change her mind? I've tried, but she won't listen. I don't know how to get through to her. We'll help you. Help me change the mind of the Madam Guardian? <laughs> Not easy. Nobody knows that better than I do. Uh, the more I think about it, the more disoriented I get. Which in turn makes me think about it even more. I just want a better life for the people of Bellabog. Let's work together. Maybe you're right. Or not. Right now, I... I just need more time to think. Walk with me. Let's forget our problems for a while. I have raging insomnia. This will greatly help. I can't remember the last time I went for a walk like this. I never thought I'd take one through such a strange place with someone I'd only just gotten to know. It's so quiet here. I'm not used to it. Ah, the quieter things are around you, the louder... I'm surprised the vagrants in the Great Mine go after the mining teams. They must be desperate. Still... Whatever their situation, a crime is a crime. How is the law supposed to find a balance between justice and compassion in the face of such complexity? How much longer can you last with your current supplies? Is that Zila? Let's go take a look. I know. I'll go to Rivet Town and bring them back for you. It's too dangerous to go alone. Get Oleg to send someone with you. The rest of Wildfire <coughs> has barely gotten any sleep the last few days. They should rest. They'd only be holding their eyelids open and slowing me down. Besides, didn't you say some of the miners were gravely injured? Lives are on the line. you supposed to be sleeping? What are you doing out here? I have raging insomnia, don't question it. Up to no good, perhaps? We're just having a walk neither of us could sleep. You can rescind your baseless accusations. <laughs> walk somewhere else, then. Easy, Zila. Maybe they can help. Always would like to help. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, look at you swaggering in like the protagonist in your own story. Oh gosh, a wall break. Here's the situation. 
The clinic is packed full of people injured in the mines incident. Since you helped us resolve things, Zila and I have been busy caring for them. As you know, the underground is lacking resources to begin with. Add on the sudden nature of the incident, and it's no surprise that the clinic is almost out of medical supplies. We need to acquire more. Somehow. <sighs> the situation in other towns is even worse than ours. As the Fragmentum spreads underground, more monsters go roaming around, causing trouble for all the towns. That means more vagrants in the mines. The town's resources have been swallowed up by the Fragmentum. To get anything now, people have to risk their lives. Easy now, Zila. Anchor isn't good for one's health. Zila and I actually aren't from here. We both come from an industrial town to the north. A few years ago, the Fragmentum began to seep into the town center. I used to manage an orphanage and clinic there. But after the Fragmentum corroded the area, I had no choice but to move here to Boulder Town. After all, I have to survive myself if I want to save more people. Go to a corroded town to collect some useful resources? I'm in. <coughs> we'll hope to. You want to come as well? But you look quite tired. I told you, I, ha I have insomnia. Hold up. I never said you could join us. People's lives are at stake. Why wouldn't you want another person to help? Besides, I have some experience with the Fragmentums. I'm sure I will be of use. <sighs> well, just don't slow me down. Sila's Seal outfit confuses me so much. Sila's lack of outright rejection means she approves of you. With you all accompanying her, my mind will be more at ease. Come, let me give you a list of materials we need. The place you're going to is called Rivet Town. Follow the path through the mountains to the north for a bit, and you'll arrive there. <sighs> let me think. Uh, I'm almost out of metal plates and bandages used for immobilizing broken bones. There's a market in the center of Rivet Town. Residents left behind piles of materials there when they evacuated. Please look for some there. Oh, also rubbing alcohol. I kept a bunch at the orphanage, since the kids often got into tussles. <laughs> I didn't bring it with me when I left. Oh, I hope it's still intact. Lastly, painkillers. There should be a bunch stored in the old lab. Hopefully they haven't been destroyed by monsters. These should be enough to get by for a bit longer. Be careful. Don't push yourselves too hard. Metal plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol, and painkillers. Got it. Piece of cake. Let's go. If we leave now, we can still make it back before sundown. When it comes to helping injured people groaning in pain, the sooner the better. Are we just if we hard? hadn't happened to be passing by, were you really planning on going into the Fragmentum alone? Of course. What's all the fuss about? I've done that loads of times. So reckless. According to the rules of the Silvermane Guards, any expedition into the Fragmentum must have a squad of at least four members, as well as a communications officer. Exactly. A rule of the Silvermane Guards. Don't apply your rules to us. What happened to you? Yeah, this, I find this ironic. Canonically, does that mean... It's just Seal, Sela, Branya, and I heading there. Because Dunhong and March are supposed to be asleep, and we're on our way in an expedition. We're here. This is Rivet Town. Everything oh, hey, looks look, familiar. it's Dunhong and March. Let's go hmm. and watch your step. I haven't been here are in they a sleeping long time. Long? There are probably some monsters yeah, I around. Did this. I did. <sighs> We can't see anything here. Let's find higher ground to get a better view. It's so erratic, and I have the high ground. Oh my gosh. I have immediately co immediate copyright claim from Disney. Yep. <coughs> it's so deserted, oh my gosh. Would you like a dessert with that? Way over there. See that house on the hill? That's Natasha's old orphanage. After Oleg found me, 
He sent me there. I spent over half my childhood in that place. I'd like to retire here. <laughs> Natasha said that the house was donated by some rich businessman. Whatever his business may have been, he must have been a good person. <coughs> I miss those carefree days as a kid. Huh. What? Nothing to say? No, it's just... This place seems familiar somehow. <sighs> Never mind. Weirdo. Look down there. See the mess that remains of those old stalls? That's Rivertown's market. The supplies Natasha wants are probably there. Let's keep moving. Watch out for monsters. Okay. Careful! Enemies ahead. Physical. These aren't like vagrants. They won't... Don't treat me like a new recruit. I'm all too familiar with the monsters of the Fragmentum. Let's get ready to fight. It's too late to repent. Yo, is that is that a is that a Kyra Ocean? Just for you. Let's run. You have the worst luck running into me. Let's go. I love the battle music. You couldn't have done it without me. Oh, shiny. Ooh, sparkly. I have to upgrade my. Uh, level. uh, restaurant? <laughs> the most famous restaurant in town. Natasha would bring the kids who behaved well here for a special meal. So, did she ever bring you? <laughs> Do I seem like I was a goody two shoes? Of course not. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. Turn up the volume. I told you I could fight. Watch this. Let's make it quick. Take this. Clemency? Never heard of it. Best is yet to come. Actually, a good question. How do I do that thing? Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so I have to complete something else before. Okay. The facilities here seem to be in pretty good shape. Not like those of a place that has been abandoned for years. Now that you mention it, it does seem a little... Could people still be living here? Impossible.
Majesty. There's a bunch of crates piled over there. Maybe we can find them. It's too late to repent. Pretty good crowd today. <laughs> My turn. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! Couldn't have done it without me. You're the truth of life and death revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. Time for the main event. Turn up the volume! I told you I could fight. Let's make it quick. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. be empty. Now even the monsters are gathering supplies? The monsters of the Fragmentum don't need any materials we humans use. And if they did take anything, this place would look much messier. You mean that someone else got here and took everything before us? It's just a guess, but there are also some footprints on the ground here. Hmm. The scent of dirt is still fresh. They can't have come too long before us. Let's go then. We need to find something, even if we have to search every corner of this market. And we'll find something. Just... Looks good. Yourself. Oh, don't you know how dangerous this place is? Zila! Uh, you aren't the boss of me! That I'm is go not the right I voice for such a tiny thing. I, I know. You took the materials and hid them all here. Not bad, kid. But if we didn't take care of those monsters, no, 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 no. what, you need what were here you planning to do? Is you need to put Just some of the children from in your boots? Dungeon in the here. And then you got it. Who asked you to do anything? I was just about to escape. I didn't need your help at all. Still stubborn, huh? Then tell me, how exactly were you going to get those big metal plates out of here past those monsters? Um, there's always a way. Don't let him fool you. Everyone in the underworld knows that this brat is a no-good thief. If I remember correctly, even the clothes you're wearing came off another kid's back. Uh, about that. 
Tell us, what do you even want metal plates and gauze bandages for? We need them to save people. Two hundred. What? Uh, two hundred shield? Are you kidding me? You want to negotiate? Yeah, I don't know. Not much, but I didn't bring my coin purse. You're actually planning to give this little crook money? I I'm telling you, this is his same old trick. No! Not this time. I really need money. My daddy. Pretending to use your dad again as an excuse. If he knew about this, you'd be in big trouble. No! <laughs> Zila, that's enough. It's Eric, right? Here, you can have this. What? What's this? This is a medal given to me by the architects. See that blue stone in the middle? That's a geomero crystal of the highest purity. You need money for your family, right? Take this and show it to a knowledgeable buyer and they'll instantly know how valuable it is. Hey, thank you. I... But you'll have to promise me one thing. You'll never steal other people's things again. Promise? I... I promise I'll never steal things again. Then it's a deal. If you go back on your promise, I'm going to bring my Silvermane guards with me and catch you myself. Oh. Here. Take the metal and go back to the town. We already took care of any threat on the way. You'll be safe. Thank you, whoever you are. You guys can take all of these things. Uh, you, you guys need to be careful too. There seems to be something real scary in that house up on the hill. Oh, right. Uh, the road across from the market is blocked. If you want to go further, you'll have to go to the shopping street. Got it. Thanks for the tip. That object was pretty important to you, right? Are you sure you're okay just giving it to Eric like that? If it will make him change his ways, it's more than worth it. <laughs> what if he doesn't? From a young age, my mother taught me to be forgiving and to preserve the goodwill in people's hearts. Even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. I must give him a chance, Zila, because other people can't. I don't really get what you just said. Anyway, <clears throat> we should get moving. Eric said that we need to take the shopping street to go any further. I think I still remember where it is. This way. This is the street, all right. The orphanage should be at the end. These shops and signs, when do I feel like I've seen them before? But when?
pretty good crowd today. Rules are made to be broken. You don't say you're welcome. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! Running into me. Stay right there while I give you a present. <laughs> Try that again. It's too late to repent. Life and death revealed in it. This sanctuary is but a vision. Oh, it's time for me to head out now. This song's just for you. A good night. yourself fight it or rock with it my music conquer us all <laughs> you have the worst luck running into me <laughs> 
step aside. I have no- Keep at it. Keep at it. Keep at it. Clemency? Never heard of it. <laughs> Time. Let's run! Stay right there while I give you a present! to repent. You can't run! Pretty good crowd today. <laughs> Done it without me. The entrance to the orphanage is up this way. I wonder what the old place is like now. Maybe some things will still look familiar. These two. Time for the main event. Turn up the volume! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. The truth of life and death, revealed in an end of this sanctuary, is but a vision! The time is now. This song's just for you. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all! have done it without me. Keep at it. Do I have anything? Almost there. I didn't expect this place to be so well preserved. You know, we made it. Hmm. It's been so long, but this place hasn't changed one bit. It looks like there's a lot of stuff piled outside. Let's go see if there's any rubbing alcohol for Nat. Hey, where are you going? Let's look around the orphanage first. How are just looking around there first? See. These crates have been sitting here for many years, right? Even if they have materials in them, are you sure they are still usable? <laughs> Do you think undergrounders care about expiration dates? 
<laughs> Even having any supplies is a miracle in itself. No. No. Empty. How are they all empty? Who could have... Careful! Enemy behind you! Don't step, thing. I've only seen this kind of monster before in the restricted zone. <laughs> I don't care how big you are. You dare sneak up on us from behind. This is it for you, pal! Move carefully. Pretty good crowd today. <laughs> My turn. Stay right there while I give you a present. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. The truth of life and death, revealed in this sanctuary, is but a vision! Let's rock! You have the worst luck running into me! With me out here, how can we lose? Let's make it quick. Clemency? Never heard of it. Job done. <laughs> Time for the main event. <laughs> Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! <laughs> Stay right there while I give you a present! are made to be broken. You're out! Let's go. Better up! Step aside. I have no interest in- This song's just for you. Let's rock! That was it? Well, was <laughs> nah, I could have taken it on by myself. But still, fighting alongside you two was pretty fun. <sighs> Should be all clear now. Let's poke around. The kids at the orphanage were always getting into scraps when we played out here. If I remember it right, there ought to be some supplies for our cuts and bruises stored in that corner there. I just hope the monster didn't get to them. It wasn't my imagination. Huh? What are you talking about? This building? This playground equipment? I've seen it all before. <laughs> what? Come on, the overground and underground have been sealed off from each other for over ten years. It would have been news if a Silvermane guard had come down here, let alone an overworld princess. Wait. Unless... before that... Yes, it's a possibility. That would explain why my memory of it is so blurry. Come on, I need to look around a bit more before I can be sure. But can I get on the slide is the real question. I cannot. I... found this. Here, take it. What is this? A brooch? Natasha would often teach us how to make different handicrafts. This must be some kid's masterpiece. And why give it to me? You gave your medal to that kid Eric. This thing might not be as valuable, but it's at least a replacement of sorts. 
But didn't someone work hard to make this? I can't just take it from here. Oh, you sure are prissy, huh? Just take it. I have a feeling it's hers. That's why she's just giving it, giving it, it so easily. We've looked everywhere but here. I hope my memory is right. It's... Ah! Yes! We found it! Great! It's barely damaged. Nat wouldn't have expected her old supplies from years ago to have stayed in such good condition. You should still check the expiration date for things like rubbing alcohol. If it's expired, it won't be effective. Mm, true. Let me check a few bottles. Huh? What's this? This is... This is... something from when I was a child. When you were a child? Are you sure? Could it be when you were a child? Yes. I remember now. I, I used to live here. Before the architects took me away. Be, before Madame Cocolia adopted me. I used to live here. I'm an undergrounder. You're an undergrounder? Wait a minute. You're saying that Cocolia, the Supreme Guardian, adopted you? Then... Yes. I'm the successor chosen by the architects. In the future, I will become the guardian who leads Bellabog. <sighs> Why? Why didn't I remember this until now? My childhood memories are so blurry. It might be the Stellaron. No. Mother would never do that to me. There's no way she would. The architect said that the Guardian's successor is selected from among all people in Bellabog. The selection process can take anywhere from a few years to a few decades. During that time, all children of the appropriate age in both the Overworld and the Underworld will be tested. In the end, only one child deemed as worthy will be chosen. I... I must have been chosen from among the children here and then taken to the surface. Kids at the orphanage are always coming and going. I never thought that there would have been a future supreme guardian among us. Does Nat know about this? Could she have been keeping it a secret? I don't think she knows. The selection of the successor is done with utmost secrecy. And the child chosen must completely say goodbye to their past. And thus... I became the daughter of Madame Cocolia. My only identity is that of guardian successor. But I'm not good enough. Every day I see Silvermane guards sacrifice their lives in the Fragmentum. But I've never had the resolve to try to change Mother's mind. The Underworld has been struggling, but I never tried to help. I didn't even know that it was my own home that had fallen into such a dire state. In the end, I haven't been able to guard anything. How could they have thought that I was worthy to be the successor? Hey, are you done? Huh? Well, well, well. So annoying. I... Uh, what? <laughs> what? You thought I should feel sorry for you after your little speech? You can hide in your palace while you fuss over your overworld problems. And on the front line, it's not even you who's putting their life in danger. But in the underworld, what do we worry about? If we'll have food for our next meal, or survive to the next week? <sighs> Even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. Didn't you say that? Well, <laughs> if you really want to protect everyone, what are you standing here crying for? Get to it! That's 
that's actually a lore. That's a big lore drop, actually. You're right. You're right. Self pity doesn't help solve anything. Thank you, Sila. Usually, when I feel sorry for myself, I am met with gentle consolation. Never has anyone dared to be tough and make me snap out of it. Interesting. <laughs> I'm no good at consoling, but I can hit you on the head a few times, no problem. I can tell that you have a big burden to carry. Why do you force yourself to? I feel like as the trailblazer, we're kind of there just awkwardly standing there like, oh dear. As the successor to the Guardian of Balabog, I must always be vigilant of my behavior and thoughts. Yeah, yeah, Lady Branya. <laughs> Miss Future Supreme Guardian comes from the same orphanage as me. Who thought it would be a good idea to put us together, huh? How about I show you around the orphanage a bit more? Unlike you, my memories from when I was little are crystal clear. Okay. I'll indulge in old memories with you for a while. We're just here. What, what are we here for? Yep, yep, thank you. I can do with my insomnia by myself. I should let those two be alone for a bit. Indeed. The only thing left to find is painkillers. I'll see if there's any nearby. Keep at it. Don't mention it, Clara. Oh. Warning. Warning. Danger detected. Oh, no. Oh, we're just here for some painkillers. Protect, Clara. Initiating active defense mode. Perkins, don't! Stop! I've seen this person before. She... She's not bad, right? No, I... Command received. Danger removed. Deactivating active defense mode. This place is dangerous. You should leave. Oh, I came here for these painkillers too. There are a lot of people hurt at the vagrant camp. I guess the miners are no different. <sighs> if everyone could just get along. Things would be easier. Mm. Here you are. I hope the medicine is of help to you. I still have rock here too. Do I have to worry about getting my head no. bashed in? <laughs> Mr. Sparog, he... He's my family. I met Mr. Sparog when I was real little. He took me in and took care of me. I'm really sorry about what happened back in the Great Mine. Mr. Sparog doesn't trust any humans besides me. Especially everyone from Wildfire. Uh, why is Sparog attack us? Mr. Sparog doesn't want to hurt people, but he always follows the calculations of his analysis. He thinks that interaction with humans is... inefficient. Wildfire wants everyone to leave the underground, but Mr. Sparrow wants everyone to stay here. According to his calculations, the overground is already unsafe. That is true because of the freeze. Yes! At least according to Mr. Sparrow's calculations, he says that his responsibility is preservation. To do that, he must make decisions that best protect humanity. I know that Wildfire wants to talk to Mr. Sparog, but no matter how many times you talk to him, Mr. Sparog won't change his mind. So please trust me. I'll try to persuade Mr. Sparog. Hopefully one day he'll finally listen. Clara, what are you doing here? You're... Miss Sila from Wildfire. I came here to... Ah, yes. Pink does. <sighs> mm. 
why are you helping the vagrants look for medicine? If they're so great, how could they make a little girl go around running errands for them? N no, it's not like that. I wasn't made to do anything. It's just that the living conditions for the vagrants aren't great. There's not even a clinic in their camp. So I wanted to help them out. Also, not all of them are bad people. Everyone just wants to survive. <laughs> Miss Sila, did this medicine belong to Miss Natasha? Then, can you give me some? The Vagrant's injuries are quite serious. I thought she gave it to us. <sighs> I see. Let's split these painkillers then. R really? We don't need to ask Miss Natasha first? If I know not, she won't mind. Although, this will make it more difficult for us. She'll understand. She always does. I just want to know, Clara doesn't have any shoes. They could... Uh, Savar could give her, like... I don't know, like, robot shoes or something. Great! Thank you, Miss Sila. Are you leaving? This old town is too dangerous. We'll accompany you part of the way. It, it's fine. I have Perkins for company. And... I have some more things I need to look for here first. <sighs> Understood. Be careful, though. Plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol, uh, painkillers. Great, that's everything. Let's go report to Natasha in Boulder Town. It won't take long to get back. To now. I can't believe this took like one night. Are we exhausted yet? Nat, we're back. <laughs> That's our Zila. Nothing if not punctual. <laughs> so, did you find any usable supplies? We did. Oh, let me see. Metal plates, gauze bandages, painkillers, rubbing alcohol. Oh, perfect. That's everything I needed. Huh. It's just. There are less painkillers than I'd expected. Did someone break into the storage room? Clara? Yes, huh. If she was there too, then I understand. She wants to look after the injured vagrants, right? Clara's always been a kind-hearted girl. <laughs> I think you made the right decision. Still, it means I'm going to have to draw up a detailed dosage plan. Hey, don't worry. I'll help you. Um, no need. I'll handle the clinic. <laughs> I assume you three have more important things to be getting on with, it's right? Like an entire day. Oleg will be waiting, not to mention your two companions. Oh gosh, I snuck out. So you guys aren't that close after all? I thought you were sworn friends. <laughs> I forgot about the mixed world's excitement. <laughs> You're adorable, Branya. She was obviously joking. I bet old Oleg wants to talk about Svarog. We should get going. Sorry, Nat. We'll have to leave the wounded to you. Oh, no worries. I hope things go smoothly. Oh, I got Natasha. That's actually really good. <gasps> That's specifically for Nat. This feels weird because I'm so used to Nat being like, uh, Marble. Oh, I, I really want to put Nat on my team, but I don't know who she should replace. Because I I don't want to replace Mir Dan Hung 
or March. But the uh, there's robots in the area, so Serval would be good to have. But see, then I mean I could replace her with March, but like my only problem with that is that March can at least shield our characters and also ice. Hmm. Well, I will build up Natasha. Maybe I can I can use her. Uh, yeah, maybe I can use her. And then we'll just give her all of this because it feels like it was meant uh, for her. healer on my team. It's a little annoying that... Actually, is there a way that I can... Ah, oh, no, I can't. I was gonna say, is there a way to turn March into a healer? I don't think there is. Because she's preservation as opposed to abundance like Natasha is. Hmm. Choices, choices. Because I could try... I mean, I feel bad if I took March off of my team, but... Just superimpose unlocked one. Yep. I think I still have stuff to level it up. What I'm gonna try. Huh? Tired already? <laughs> Aren't you? We didn't get any rest last night. You're gonna have to step it up, you know. My record is six days no shut eye. Oh. You know, I'm gonna try. Oh, I love the march, but I just wanna try and see. Uh, how Natasha does on my team. Achievement. Oh, 20 readable items. 
I want to obtain 10 characters. A. Nothing. The unannounced disappearance record holder is right here. <sighs> and that's something to be proud of? <laughs> uh, it's good to have everyone back together. Let me get straight to it. Regarding the Stellaron and your predicament in the overworld, your friends have gone over both with me again. The last time I saw Kokolia, she was an impressive young lady. I never thought that after becoming the Guardian, all I can say is that I sympathize with your situation. Rest easy. Wildfire won't go behind your back on this. Your plan sounds a bit like the ravings of a drunken miner, but at least you're offering a road forwards. We Underworlders haven't had a road to anywhere for a long time now, and you can see how things have become. I'm willing to give you guys a shot. Don't worry, Mr. Oleg. We'll make sure you don't regret it. Ravings of a drunken miner is a little harsh. Maybe it is. But I think we need to set our sights on something a bit more realistic. You guys want to know the whereabouts of the Stellaron. Wildfire wants to remove the restrictions on the Underworld. In other words, Svarog is the target of both our efforts. If we can't deal with the boss, we can't deal with anything. <laughs> he wouldn't understand. You're forgetting he's a robot. It'd be faster to smash him to scrap metal. We should make preparations for both approaches. Of course, it's better to settle matters through peaceful means, but if the situation changes, we must be prepared for armed conflict at a moment's notice. Yeah. Wildfire has tried many times to make contact with Svarok, without success. He has no intention of engaging with us. At our current strength, it would be incredibly dangerous to use force. Svarog's robots don't fear sacrifice, and I don't want to risk underworld lives. But things have changed. Your arrival constitutes an external variable for Svarok. I may not have the full picture, but perhaps you guys have an opportunity to sway him. That would be best. <laughs> Our scheme is coming along nicely. But I fear that Svarok just isn't the swaying type. <laughs> You'll understand when you get to his territory. Things never run smoothly down here. What about you, Miss Silvermane? You're the only one here that isn't compelled to do or die with Svarog. I'd like to hear your plan. Well, the Underworld is still a part of Belabog. If Svarog's existence constitutes a threat to the people here, I will of course stand with you. <laughs> Excellent. An enlightened answer, young lady. And spoken like a true successor to the Guardianship. Oh. Seeing as we're all on the same side, there's no reason to delay. Let's go. I've arranged for a guide to take you to Svarok. Probably the mining stuff. Wildfire's relationship with Svarok has been hostile for a long time now. Accompanying you would only lead to misunderstandings. We'll be nearby, awaiting orders. If things go south, we'll be there in no time. Zila, perhaps you can take our outsider friends the rest of the way. Mm, I'm on it, boss. Oh, oh, what,
Sorry. So let's see if we can get past. Wait, do I have to? My trailblazing level is a little high. No, a little high. Um, it says I need to complete a certain quest first. So I'm convinced. I really hope I'm not gonna lose any of this additional XP that I'm getting from it. goes with Natasha on my party, and then, uh, yeah. Where have you been? Because I like having March on my party, but I need Serval because, uh, for now, there's robots with electricity. Weakness. He really said that to me. Hey, Hook. Uh, hook? You. This? I really wasn't expecting. So, the moles are a part of wildfire. Ah, that's right. It's me, Pitch Dark Hook the Great! What do you want? <laughs> Kiddo, I think there's been a misunderstanding. I will be your guide, friends, by order of Chief Oleg. I gotta say I'm a little upset at the thought of you choosing a toddler over your old buddy Sampo. Oh, Sampo. Sorry, not all right, all right, don't get started. But I want to ask you something. Everyone in Wildfire knows the location of Svarog's lair. Why do we need you as a guide? Uh, my specialty's in the field, perhaps. Wildfire may know where the base is, but have they ever been inside? You've been inside? No, but I felt my way around the outside and picked up more than a few clues. I can help you. You have my word. Hey, what are you trying to say? Name me someone above or light. below ground that walks the talk like Sampo Kosky. My legacy will prove that Sampo Kosky was nothing but a willing and devoted servant of... Oh, enough. Jeez, we believe you, okay? Show us the way already. Great. Stay close. Sampo, are we there yet? Do you have to ask every other minute, Missy? Two more steps, just two more steps, and you're there. This is Svarog's lair? I thought it'd be cold and lifeless. Oh, turns out it's pretty busy. Many vagrants are staying here temporarily. Their homes were overrun by monsters. Isn't it dangerous for them to make camp right under Svarog's metal nose? No. Svarog may be ruthless, but he never attacks without reason. For those with no home, this is actually a safe place to be. <laughs> if I hadn't moved away when I did, I'd probably be where they are right now. that a secret code or something? It's an imaginary password that children like to use. And I don't think it's going to be of much use. Hmm. Yeah. I was just about to get into those before Miss March's colorful attempt. To be fair, she was... She kind of has the mentality of a child, which isn't bad. Luckily for us, I've already figured out the mechanism for this gate. They don't just let any Joe Schmo in and out of Boss Farag's territory. I mean, if you want to see the big cheese himself, you need certification. Uh, certification? Correct. Only prospectors with the right certification can get in or out. These prospectors collect mechanical remnants from all over the underground and then bring them to Svarog for him to repair. Honestly, it's a very profitable little venture. If only I'd beaten him to it. 
<laughs> They'd be calling me Sampo Bosky by now. A timeout. Where do we get this certification? Oh, that's simple. You see the robots over by the vagrants? They're all Sforog scouts. Every one of them is commanded to maintain order here. Apart from them keeping a watchful eye on these hooligans, another one of their duties is processing. Anyone who wants to become a prospector has to pass a test from these walking stoplights first. Not a clue. <laughs> I never had the urge to go on a Svarug suicide mission before. You guys are the ones that want in. Why not go and ask the robots? It feels like the people here are all under the supervision of robots. This would be unthinkable on the surface. Robots are merely tools in the overworld. Don't take Svarag as an ordinary robot. He's... Uh, special. Walking stop this has to be one of them, right? It looks so... lame. Is it even awake in there? Maybe it's broken down. <laughs> that scared me. Protocol. Initiating. Scanning. Verifying. Certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Launching processing. Huh? Are we starting now? Launching stage one processing. Please listen to the following question. Who is the reigning champion of the Internal Combustion Engine Wrap Tournament? Infernal Construction what now? How would we know anything about that? Sampo, do you know the answer? Sampo Gasky always knows the... Wait, uh, what did it say again? <sighs> Aren't you supposed to be dependable? Well, I don't know everything. <sighs> Sometimes you gotta ask around if you want to know the answer. Don't panic. Protocol. Initiating. Scanning. Ugh, I'm so sick of repeating this. Huh? What did this bucket of bolts just say? <laughs> Seems like this one's got a temper. Ugh, let's get this over with. Did you get your first certification? If not, then you're wasting your time. You mean this? Here, look! Yeah, yeah, whatever. Here comes your question. No, no, I'm Listen up. Google. Riddle me this. A microcrystalline unit should be connected to which component? to do this again. Put your hand out. What are you doing? I meant her. Give me your hand. Huh? Me again? It hurts, you know. Huh? Ow. Yeah, why have to be more? There, so one step left. Now get out of here and leave me in peace. Hey, it's regarded. Whatever the case, we'll need it to identify our certifications. Hmm, there's something wrong with this one.
Whatever the case. Hmm. Mary? Protocol. Init nish 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 initialization failure. Attempting system restoration. Not encouraging. System restoration failure. Core module damaged. External threat detected. Threat elimination activated. Initializing combat module. <laughs> Finally, no more racking our brains. This rust bucket's about to meet its maker. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! Let's rock! Let's go. Savor the vigor of it. <laughs> Learn how to behave now. Let me try and reset its system. Certification system online. Please extend your right hand. Oh, why is it always me? Ah, ah, ah. How come it hurt even more than the other two? Oh, at least that's the final step. We can get in now, right? <laughs> Sparog's certification system is no match for us. This better work. Let's get back to the gate and give it a go.